Now, I, I'm becoming a bit of a woodworker and a guitar maker in that I can make bodies and necks and headstocks and stuff, but I'm no electrician. So I'm currently uh, learning all about wiring up guitars, watching videos and reading diagrams and whatnot. Um, I haven't wired any guitars up yet. Uh, you may have seen a video of me doing so or with, with a wired up guitar, but I haven't made it yet when I make this video. One of the things I'm going to have to do is run a ground wire from the cavity behind here where the pots are up into well up into just under the bridge and I will ground that wire I'll ground the bridge or am I grounding the pot I'm not even sure yet I haven't got that far in my learning so I'm going to have to drill a diagonal hole from under the bridge to the pickup cavity because that's where I'm going to run the wire Is there any coming back from that? You saw me do it right here. Is there any coming back? Oh, I don't think so. Where there's a will, there is sometimes a way. There is a virtue of giving up when you know you when you, know, you should know that you really can't make any progress without investing too much time in. This isn't one of those times. I think I can I can fix this. So I've drilled a hole in the pickup cavity that joins on to the hole that I was drilling there. So I can now connect the earth wire. But I've got the problem of this <laughs> hole that I um, drilled by um, wrongly estimating the angle required to drill into the pickup cavity and going all the way through to the back of the body. I've got these furniture dowels here. They're not the soft balsa wood dowels that you can get. I think that's pine. It's pretty hard. Um, so I've drilled a slightly larger hole. And now I'm going to thin this down by putting it into my drill and sanding it until it just squeezes into that hole. And then I will glue it in and then I will sand it over. And yes, you'll see a little... Um, a shape on the surface but I'm going to be priming and painting that so that won't matter the point is it will be a solid fill alright so let's see how this goes I've got the dowel in the end of the drill it's going to wrap some 120 grit sandpaper around that I've reduced the size in that slightly but not quite enough to go into the hole yet but it looks like I'll get there which is good came out, but it didn't break, fortunately. Yeah, I'm really close. So this looks like it's going to work. Okay, I think we're there. Good. Now, I'm going to be able to tap that in a bit with the rubber mallet, and that will be a really snug fit. So I'll just put some glue on that. Okay. My rubber mallet is handy, fortunately. Now what? How am I going to cut that down? <laughs> I guess this is the easy part though. Um, I'll just take a saw to that. One moment. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty smoothish. It's pretty roughish actually. I'll wait for that to dry. In the coming days, I will come back to this project and sand that flat. But I think that's a that's a really good solution. Well done. And here was me contemplating making a whole new guitar body, which I will do in the future, but not right now.
I haven't even come back in the next few days. I came back just a few minutes later uh, because that that fit is so tight that I don't really risk much by sanding that. And that feels really smooth. It's certainly a solid piece of wood uh, beneath a coat of primer and paint and clear coat. <laughs> You won't even know that anything is amiss. Good. Problem solved.